All right, all right, all right. Hey, YouTube, I'm Lucky, and welcome to the weekly installment of the Trials Meta Report. We've now had four weeks to test out Bungie's new sandbox changes, primarily in Trials of Osiris. That's the focus of this video. And so we definitely know at this point in time, what are the top 10 weapons? What are the strongest weapons? What are the god rolls to chase after? And in today's video, we'll be breaking down all of those statistics for you here. So let's go ahead and start with week one, week two, week three, and week four here. We've got all four weeks of trials brought up here. And we can see here on Bannerfall, the top 10 weapons were Dead Man's Tail, IS Luna, Thousand Yard Stare, Felwinter's Lie, the Chaperone, Made Ingredient, which is Zer's Made Ingredient, the Battler actually made it to the top 10, the Adored, the Messenger, and the Last Word. Now, Bannerfall being a much bigger map, of course, the next week being Endless Veil, we're going to see a little bit shift in the meta and what people are using, but we still see the IS Luna, the Chaperone rises up much higher. The Maid Ingredient, Dead Man's Tale, Felwinter's Lie, The Last Word, no surprises there. The Fatebringer, which was the previously most strong kinetic 140 RPM hand cannon. Then we have the Seven Seraph CQC, the Palindrome, and the Thousand Yard Stair. Moving on to week three, we have more of a mid-sized map with Wormhaven, but IS Luna remains in the top number one spot right there. We've got IS Luna, Main Ingredient, Zer's Main Ingredient, the Chaperone, Dead Man's Tale, Felwinter's Lie, the Ace of Spades, the Palindrome hangs in there, the last word. The Lawrence Driver finally squeaks in, and this is something we're going to talk about today. Oh, God. And then in the number 10 spot, the Fatebringer Time Lost goes all the way down to the bottom there. Number 10, because the Ice Luna is taking over everyone's kinetic slot if they're using a 140 RPM. And now onto this week's stats, we have the Ice Luna in the number one spot for three weeks in a row. The true meta hand cannon, the true meta weapon in Destiny 2 PvP right now is the Ice Luna. That's the gun to use. That's the god roll to chase for the palindrome flies all the way up to the number two spot though so if you're trying to use an energy 140 rpm the palindrome adept of course the best choice i agree with this obviously because the stats on this thing are insane the rolls the perks the weapon everything about this it's an adept weapon it's so good i love the palindrome Zer's made ingredient so strong it literally is the number three most used weapon the most powerful energy weapon used in trials that's pretty crazy that lets you know that there is a fusion rifle meta right now Hellish shotguns have been nerfed so hard that fusion rifles are much more consistent for getting those kills, and you're just seeing a lot more people use fusions, especially Azur's fusion that he sold a while ago. Number four goes to the Dead Man's Tail. Interesting to see it rise to the top of the start of the season, right? It was the number one. And then as people started to figure out other stuff that's more powerful within the sandbox, the Dead Man's Tail slowly falls down, and we see that Ice Luna takes over that spot. This happens over and over and over again, which is why I like to make this trial's meta report, because what people think are going to be the most powerful weapons at the start of the season changes drastically, usually within about three or four weeks of playing Trials. The number five slot for Burnout goes to the Chaperone. No surprises there. The Chaperone remained in not just the top 10, but the top five for the last four weeks. Pellet shotguns get nerfed. Of course, people are going to gravitate a little bit more towards that Chaperone because it is just so powerful. And the number six spot right there goes to the Lawrence Driver. People are starting to figure out more and more that this Lawrence Driver, especially if you're on controller, is just absolutely insane. It's so, so, so strong. Unbelievably good weapon. I would not be surprised to see this launch up into the top three from next week in Trials. We'll see. Only time will tell. Next up, we have the Last Word. Extremely powerful weapon. The Ace of Spades, probably the, the most powerful 140 RPM hand cannon. The only problem is it doesn't have in-air accuracy. Then we have the Felwinter's Lie squeaking in there. Like I talked about, the Felwinter's is absolutely killing it because of those handling mods. And the Fatebringer barely hanging into the top 10 from this week. And that is our full meta from the last four weeks in Trials. And the last statistic we're going to look at, which is the overall health of the Trials playlist, which is the population. It's actually staying pretty consistently in the mid 200,000s, which is nice to see. On Bannerfall, we had 277,000 players playing. An Endless Fail, we had 250,000 players playing. And on Wormhaven, we had 326,000 players playing, so a big spike there. And then this last week on the Burnout, we had 248,000 players playing the game. So it seems like Trials is sitting around a mid-200,000s population, which is very impressive and very good. And this makes for good match times and hopefully less laggy matches. Let me know your experience in Trials. Are you matching laggy players at all when you're playing trials or are you matching any cheaters at all my experience has seemed to be that that's almost completely gone from the playlist but i do know that it happens for some people occasionally here and there let me know your thoughts down in the comment section below make sure to subscribe with notifications on if you did enjoy this video smash the like button and i'll see you in the next one thanks for watching later